How well do you know about the country of Mozambique? What is the capital of Mozambique? How is the weather there? It is one of the most interesting places to visit in Africa because it is near the coast, easy to get to, and has a rich history. Today's video is all you need to know about this country. If you want to plan your next trip to Africa, please visit flightstofrica.net to grab the best flight deals to Africa. Let's have a look at this country. Mozambique is a country in southeastern Africa that is bounded on the east by the Indian Ocean, on the north by Tanzania, on the northwest by Malawi and Zambia, on the west by Zimbabwe, and on the southwest by Eswatini and South Africa. The Mozambique Channel is located to the east of the sovereign state and separates it from the islands of the Comoros, Mayotte, and Madagascar. Maputo is both the nation's capital and its largest city. Notably, northern Mozambique is located within the domain of the monsoon trade winds that blow off the Indian Ocean, and as a result, it is frequently impacted by unsettling weather. The establishment of a number of Swahili port cities in that region between the 7th and 11th centuries helped to foster the growth of a culture and language that are uniquely Swahili. During the later part of the Middle Ages, merchants traveling from Somalia, Ethiopia, Egypt, Arabia, Persia, and India visited these towns often. Official Language Knowing some of the basics of the official language of Mozambique, which is Portuguese, will make any encounter you have while traveling in Mozambique more enjoyable. Portuguese is the official language of Mozambique. Capital Since the year 1898, Maputo has served as the capital city of Mozambique. Maputo is the most important harbor in Mozambique, as well as the largest city in the country. Maputo is located in Mozambique. If you are flying throughout Mozambique as part of your vacation, you will most likely begin and end your trip here. This could alter depending on whether you travel by air or by land. Maputo ought to be approached with the same degree of awareness and caution as any other capital city in Africa. This is not the safest area in Africa, despite the fact that it is not the most dangerous place in Africa. Pickpocketing and other cons are more prevalent than violent crime, but you shouldn't expect the cops to be on your side if you're victimized. If you're going to be in Maputo for a few days, make sure to keep these safety tips in mind. Don't stroll around at night, don't carry valuables on you, and be cautious of your surroundings. Currency the Mozambican medical is the national unit of money in Mozambique. Despite this, the South African rand and the United States dollar are typically accepted everywhere. Because credit cards are still not widely accepted in Mozambique and automated teller machine cashouts are common in areas outside of Maputo, it is recommended that you always take cash with you. Weather The majority of Mozambique is located within the tropics and a significant portion of its coastline is susceptible to the regular seasonal influence of the monsoon, rains that originate in the Indian Ocean. The influence of the monsoon is most pronounced in the northeastern part of the country, whilst the island barriers formed by Madagascar, the Comoros, and the Seychelles have a moderating effect on the monsoon in the southern part of the country. The climate is seasonal and tropical, with the exception of the highland parts around the northern and western borders as well as near Guru. These places have a climate that is influenced by elevation in both temperature and humidity. The daily temperatures in the country average in the middle to upper 70s Fahrenheit, with the hottest months being October through February and the hottest months being June and July. The lowest temperatures occur in June and July. Only in the upper Zambezi Valley and along the northeastern coast do average daily temperatures reach uncomfortably high levels, averaging in the upper 80s Fahrenheit. On the other hand, only in the mountainous regions on the western borders do temperatures remain consistently in the 60s, far in heat throughout the year. Both the relative humidity and the amount of precipitation can vary greatly across the country. Again, the contrast between the north and the south is the most striking. The entire region to the north of the Zambezi and east of the Shire River Valley are both warm and humid, as is the coastal plain in the south. On the other hand, the southern interior and the majority of the Zambezi Valley to the west of the Shire are quite dry, and the area in the center of the country is even considered to be semi-arid. Food Mozambique's cuisine, in contrast to that of the majority of other African nations, impress people with its depth and complexity of flavor. The majority of the population resides along the shore, 
and nearly every restaurant serves some form of seafood. In Mozambique, even the simplest of dishes can include ingredients like lobster, prawns, and crab, because these seafood items are caught along the coast. The national dish is called matapa, and it consists of a delicious mixture of coconut, cassava leaves, and a variety of shellfish. However, you should be advised that it looks like baby food. The cost of a decent supper in the area might range anywhere from $3 to $8. Driving in Mozambique This has been a lot less difficult and stressful to deal with as well. Make sure you are familiar with the rules and expect to experience delays at the borders during the busiest times of the year. Remember that you're in Africa and try to keep your sense of humor. You should remember to wear seatbelts, respect the speed limits, carry your driver's license, your third-party insurance paperwork, and your road tax documents, and put on a great smile on your face, because you will be checked at several police checkpoints. We assure you that it will be well worth it. When you are at your final destination, sipping the cold 2M beer and eating the most ridiculously fresh prawns you have ever tasted, the drive will feel like a small sacrifice for such a stunning holiday. Hundreds of families drive to Mozambique every day if they want to tow their boat or jet skis, or are traveling in groups. When you are at your final destination, sipping the cold 2M beer and eating the most ridiculously fresh prawns you have ever tasted Mozambique is one of the most well-liked destinations for vacations among South Africans since it is an excellent choice for gatherings of friends and family members who are interested in creating lasting memories during their time off. Top Destinations The Quirimbas Archipelago, the Bazarugo Archipelago, and Marine National Park in Hambane Tofo and the Barra Peninsula are some of the top destinations in Mozambique for luxury vacations, destination weddings, honeymoons, and vacations to celebrate milestone birthdays or other events. These locations are ideal for these types of trips. Vilanculos is perhaps one of the most visited vacation towns, and as a result, it features an extensive selection of different kinds of holiday accommodations. Mozambique's lodging options are diverse and can accommodate travelers with a range of financial means. Everything from modest barefoot eco-friendly owner-operated guesthouses to luxurious tiny private resorts to world-class private islands and everything in between can be found in this category. Ethnic Communities The people of Mozambique come from a wide variety of backgrounds, but the country's colonial past has left the country's ethnic classifications in a state of flux. In 1961, all of the people who lived in the country were given the nationality of Portuguese, and certain ethnic classifications, such as Makua Longwi, were developed by colonial Portuguese officials themselves. In addition to the Makua Longwi, there are also Tsonga, Sina, Ndao, Chopi, Chua, Yao, Makand, and Ngoni people who dwell inside the borders of this country. Settlement Trends Moreover, the fourth-fifth of the labor force in Mozambique is involved in agriculture, and settlement patterns reflect the agrarian focus. Just around one-third of the population is concentrated in urban regions. Mozambique is an agriculturally dominant country. How much do you really know about Mozambique? What name does Mozambique's capital have? What's the climate there? Located in Southeast Africa lies the nation of Mozambique. The vast majority of Mozambique is tropical, and much of its coastline is subject to the regular seasonal influence of monsoon rains that originate in the Indian Ocean. In contrast to the bulk of other African countries, Mozambique's cuisine is renowned for its richness and diversity of flavor. Some of the greatest locations in Mozambique for luxury vacations, destination weddings, honeymoons, and trips to commemorate milestone birthdays or other occasions are the Quirimbas Archipelago, the Bazaruto Archipelago and Marine National Park, in Hambane Tofo, and the Barra Peninsula. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.